Adda 247, the official YouTube channel for SSC Adda and Bankers Adda. So friends, as we have SBI exams around the clock, here we present an analysis for quantitative aptitude. Well, in quantitative aptitude, the key is practice, practice and more practice. The more you practice, the more perfection you will get. Friends, quantitative aptitude is an important section and 35 questions are asked from quant. So it is very important to manage time for quant. See, I would suggest that you should at least give 20 to 25 minutes for quant depending upon the difficulty level. Okay, for those of you, many students attempt English and reasoning before quant, obviously. For them, it is really important that they should have sufficient time to attempt at least safe attempt questions in quant and I would like to say that in quant you should at least attempt 18 to 22 questions as safe attempt. Okay, even after safe attempt, do mind that accuracy is the key. You should try to maintain your accuracy throughout as it will help you in scoring good. So students, remember, Quant is asked for about 35 marks, that is there will be 35 questions. Then you should at least devote 20 to 25 minutes for quantitative aptitude. Then I would like to say that safe attempt will be 18 to 22 questions. And yes, do maintain your accuracy. Okay, so now let's see that what all are the topics from which questions will generally be asked in quantitative aptitude. Okay, students. So let us now take a look on what are other topics and how many questions will be asked from these topics in quantitative aptitude. Our first topic is approximation and simplification. And this topic is of 5 marks that is 5 questions will be asked from approximation and simplification. Our next topic is number series and this, series, and this section is also of 5 marks that is 5 questions will be asked from number series. Quadratic equation, this is also 5 marks, okay, so it can happen that they might not ask from quadratic equation, so they will increase the number of questions from approximation and simplification, but do note, you need to prepare all of these topics. Next topic is data interpretation or DI and this will be of 10 marks, that is 10 questions will be asked from data interpretation. Next is miscellaneous. This will include the language problems and it will be also of 10 marks just like DI. Okay, so topics in miscellaneous will be like important chapters such as profit and loss, average, percentage, simple interest and compound interest, question on ages, speed, distance and time, time and work, probability, ratio and proportion permutation and combination and mensuration okay so these were the important topics from which questions will be asked in your exam okay students so if your calculation is good i would like to suggest that then you should attempt approximation and simplification at first and after that you should attempt quadratic then number series then you can attempt di okay so this is the tricky part the language problem or the miscellaneous part sometimes question can be really tricky and if you attempt this section at first you can really get lost in it so for if you find this section tricky or if the pattern is difficult i would like to suggest you that keep this for last so that you don't get lost in it right so students as sbi can be really tricky so do expect the unexpected and yes although it is really obvious but I would like to make a special mention that it would be really beneficial for you if you learn tables till 30, squares till 30 and cubes till 20 or 10. See, this section will really help you out in calculation and it will save your time and speed up your calculation. And with that safe time, you can focus on the tricky part that will be the miscellaneous word problem or language problem. Okay students, this was all about the analysis for quantitative aptitude in SBI PO exam. 
at the end i would like to say do subscribe to our channel and yes you can also download our adda 247 app it will really help you out and yes come on start attempting those quizzes and mega quizzes and practice sets why waste your time thank you